simple move, you know, it's kind of, you know, whole steps, same chord, just minor sevens, you know. Okay, spell out the move for okay. us. F, D, C, B flat, A, G. Take that up a whole step. G, E, D, C, B, over A. Up another whole step. A, G flat, E, D, D flat, over B. Now, with that progression that you just did, when you got to the last chord, is there a, like another transition chord you can throw in there to bring you back to the G? Sweet. You know you got to show us that move, Doc. Okay. <laughs> so the first chords, A flat over C, A flat, E flat, C over C. Then I'll probably do it like that. What's that? A What's full that? E7 over B, that whole using the fifth thing again. So A flat, E, D, B, A flat. Just coming down a half step. E flat over B flat. E flat seven over B flat. G, E flat, D flat, B flat, G, and B flat. And that's your basic F two over A. But really, in the, I guess in this particular situation, you can look at it as a A minor seven, since I'm not really playing a fifth or the F. But it's just so the spell the spelled out is G C G A. First move. Spelled out is A flat, E flat, A flat. And then you got the same E flat here, and, and it's over F. So what you're doing is moving the E flats. That's your melody, and you're moving that. So the melody is on the end. 
inside and this move versus being on the outside. Right. That's what makes it sound unique. And then you come out, second chord, B, A flat, D flat, B, A flat. And what you're doing here, because these are the same, this is the same thing going on at the top and the bottom. You're moving. Okay, so the um from the left right hand down, I'm sorry. F I would probably use the D. F D C A F. That right hand again is F C I'm sorry, F D C A F. Left hand is A E flat and F. Second chord F, D, B flat, F, left hand, B flat, F, G. Third chord, F, D, B, A flat, F, and the left hand is B, F, A flat. I added um, a couple of moves that were, you know, not really far, just just personal things that I like, like uh, things that I would hear just based on the texture of the song. So the, to end this phrase. And just resting on them too. Mm -hmm. It kind of leads better to me going back to the one. So that chord over the two. Yeah, but I noticed many times when you did that, you went from there, then you went to here, and then you walked back okay. into the one. Okay, so. Um, so just using a lot of the, like, seven chords, real straight chords. 
really is that, but I'm just doing it off of F sharp. The chord spelled out is actually C A D A D and F sharp. So the first one that I did was just the basic. D, A, F sharp, E, B, F sharp, G. Mm -hmm. Then I resolve back into the minor. Um, you know, to get back. So the second one I did was like a. 3 6 of G, so which is um, you know B to the E, so so you're doing that one instead of going to the um, going to the uh, There's thinking. Yeah, you set you up for the five. Yeah, I just, I, I'll go there. So what, what was that voicing that you used? So. Second chord, the left hand isn't changing. So the second chord is a um, B, G flat, E. Especially that little thing you did. Mm -hmm. That thing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's sweet. I like that. I appreciate it, man. That's, that's that West Coast. That's that Kevin mm. Bond, <laughs> Chief <laughs> Levite stuff. <laughs> right, you know. <laughs> but yeah, man, those, those moves come in handy. It's good to know those moves over every possible chord. I mean, just to have. 